They started the fires, they destroyed the evidence, and now they've come before you and are asking not to be held accountable. Lawyers for a group of plaintiffs, some whose homes burned down, say Pacific Power is to blame for some of the major Labor Day wildfires in 2020. It's about their choices not to act. Their choices not to act when all the warning signs were there. All the warning signs of the extreme fire danger that led to this, that led to these seven weeks of trial. Wildfire investigations are still ongoing, so a Multnomah County jury will have to determine who or what is at fault. During closing arguments on Wednesday, plaintiff's attorneys said Pacific Power destroyed evidence of downed power lines and internal communications. The only Skype messages that they didn't destroy were found in a folder that they had labeled the purges folder. On the other side, attorneys for Pacific Power argued it shouldn't be responsible for climate change, saying these fires were unprecedented, other wildfires helped them spread, and it's impossible to eliminate all risk. You have heard about the historic wind event that took place on Labor Day 2020, a natural event that knocked down healthy trees and spread fires at a rate not seen before in Oregon. Pacific Power didn't shut off its power lines in the storms, but other companies did turn off electricity in certain areas. Company attorneys say public safety power shutoffs were rare at the time, and turning off power is dangerous to residents. How should we weigh the risks or the possibility of a fire against the dangers that would be presented by a de-energization? This case is a class action lawsuit, and 12 jury members will decide on liability and damages. As a final argument, plaintiff's attorneys told jurors they could hold Pacific Power liable if they decide the company is a substantial cause of the fires, even with unclear investigations. The idea is you can't destroy the evidence and then stand up and say there's no evidence of your liability. That's not fair. That's not how the law works. You are entitled to infer that the evidence that you were not able to see, that wasn't provided to you in this trial, because Pacific Corp destroyed it, that it would be adverse to Pacific Corp. Evan Watson, KGW News.